What's going on everybody? This is Bronco Juggalo coming at you on a Thursday afternoon to talk about Sean Urshan's Universal Horror Monster slash Horror Movie Tag. Now this tag doesn't just encompass the old school horror monsters, the Universal Monsters, but it also encompasses all Universal Horror films. So, without further ado, let's get into question number one. If you were the Invisible Man, or woman, how would you use your powers? I'd sneak into Sean's house and peek at him in the shower. No, just kidding. I would, honestly though, I would use them to have a little fun. I, I'm just a dick like that. I would go into people's houses and while they're sitting around watching TV or whatever, I'd start picking things up and just start moving it across the room. Start throwing things so they think their house is haunted. Just because I think it would be funny as hell. Then everybody else is talking about how they're going to be superheroes and I just didn't want to answer that. Who is your favorite Universal Monster movie? Uh, mine is actually going to be The Mummy, Boris Karloff. I enjoyed that film a lot. I'm not the biggest person in these Universal Monster films. I like them. They're good. I don't know why people give them the reverence they do, though. Just because something's old doesn't automatically make it great, in my opinion. Sorry if that upsets anybody, but... I mean, they, they're good, but they never really scared me, so I didn't even watch them until I was older. I never watched these as kids, as a kid. I didn't find them frightening then. I saw bits and pieces of them, and I was like, okay, whatever. You know, I mean, I grew up in the 80s. I grew up at a time of Michael Myers and Jason Voorhees and Freddy Krueger. You know, watching old Dracula in black and white just was not scary to me. So, as a kid, I never really got into these films. I did get a little taste for them as I got older, though. Question number three. If Lawrence Talbert, a.k.a. the Wolfman, asked you to watch over him and put a silver bullet into him when he changed, would you do it? I actually thought about this all day long at work. And I don't want any harm to come to Talbert, but... Yes, I would. And I may even do it before he started changing. Just as a preventative measure. Honestly, I don't know. Lesser of two evil kind of things. Question number four. Who would win in a fight? Dracula or Frankenstein? I've watched three or four tag of the videos today that people have put up on this subject. And everybody has said Dracula. And they all give the reasons because Dracula is smarter and... Frankenstein's not. Well, here's the thing about that. And I was really listening to what Sean Urshan had to say on the subject. About how Franken, how Dracula could use his seductive powers and his, you know, mind control powers and things like that. Frankenstein's monster really didn't have a mind, so to speak. The brain he was given was abnormal. It was psychotic. It was... I'm sorry if you can hear that in the background. My family is watching Tarzan, and they say they can't hear it. But I can hear it all the way across the house. So, whatever. I honestly feel that Frankenstein would win. He's stronger. He can't be hurt. He has none of the weaknesses that the vampire has. The vampire can be hurt by all kinds of things. Frankenstein, yeah, he's afraid of fire. At least it, it, he is in quite a few of the adaptations. But he can't be hurt by it. He feels no pain. He feels nothing. He has no nerve function. So, I honestly think that Frankenstein would win. I think he could grab up Dracula and beat him to a pulp. And that is why I think in so many depictations that Dracula is given the master role because I think Dracula is afraid of Frankenstein. But I honestly think, if you go back to the core of these characters, Frankenstein, I don't think he could be controlled by Dracula. Question number five. 
do you think and this is where we start getting away from just the universal monsters into universal horror do you think if Norman Bates was real today could he have been rehabilitated with therapy no I don't uh, I may catch some shit for this but this is my own personal belief I do believe that there is such a thing as therapy and people can benefit from it I do not believe in rehabilitation and I'm not gonna go into why but coming from the background I come from I just find that if people want to change they're going to do it for them they're going to do it on their own it's not going to happen because of work through a psychiatrist or anything else so I don't believe in jailhouse conversions either I mean I'm sure it does happen and I've seen people that say it happens but okay and speaking as a Christian person this may sound terrible of me but I don't believe it I've seen too many cases where they're only religious when it suits their purpose and then as soon as they have no benefit from it it's out the window so that's just my opinion guys I'm sorry if that offends anybody I don't mean to offend anybody I just I don't really believe in rehabilitative therapy question number six what is your favorite universal horror movie um, mine is Child's Play 3 I absolutely love Child's Play 3 and I think that's my favorite uh, Sean Urshan I know mentioned that Halloween 2 I'm not counting Halloween 2 because it was only distributed in the US by Universal so I mean maybe that's you know a technicality but that's just me but Child's Play 3 I I think Child's Play 3 is my favorite question number seven if Jaws was released today would it still have the same effect I believe so I don't think we would have a lot of the movies we have today without Jaws so none of those movies would be around so it would be the first of its kind again and I know people to this day that are still afraid to go in the ocean they're afraid to go in swimming pools because of Jaws I'm not kidding one of my best friends will not go near the ocean because of Jaws question number eight what is the best version of the mummy Boris Karloff Brendan Fraser or Tom Cruise first off fuck Tom Cruise's that movie sucked ass second like I said earlier I don't see what the big fascination is with you know thinking these movies are so great they're good but they're not great and as much as Bor I like Boris Karloff and the mummy it's not my favorite child of the 80s and 90s I love the mummy with Brendan Fraser it's one of my favorite movies probably and it's just so much fun and I love it and I love the second one even more so yeah I'm definitely going with the Brendan Fraser films sorry but they're a lot of fun and they're great action films I also like the way they went with that I don't think the mummy works as a horror movie in modern times I just don't question number nine what is the most underrated universal horror movie I have to agree with Jason here Dr. Giggles Dr. Giggles is one of my favorite horror movies of all time and the fact that people don't like it or don't know about it just really bugs me because I think it's an awesome film question number 10 and the final question who is the better Dracula Bela Lugosi or Christopher Lee I'm going with Bela Lugosi and a couple reasons why he was the like maybe not the first person to play Dracula but he was the original like film Dracula that we think of so everybody that came after him tried to do what he did in one way or the other that's the Dracula everybody lives up to and tries to be like that's one reason the second reason is I really haven't seen a lot of the Christopher Lee films I have not seen a lot of the Hammer films I've seen one Hammer film with Christopher Lee as Dracula all the way through and it was good and I liked it but I just haven't seen them all so I really can't say that he was better than Lugosi personally I think the best Dracula is Gary Oldman but I prefer the modern film so anyways guys that is it for Bronco Juggalo and the Sean Urshan Universal Monster Slash Horror Tag. Until next time, this is Bronco Juggalo saying peace. Sit, sit beside me.